What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you're new here, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today, we are finally having a day off of work. I am going to relax, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful morning here. I think I'm going to watch some morning news and I'm going to make a nice morning cup of coffee. I am so excited to finally have a day off. I mean, it seems like I literally am working every single day. So we got our cup of coffee here. We're gonna sit down, relax, watch the morning news. Oh my goodness, looks like there is some craziness going on in Greenville. Looks like someone broke into the Super Witch and set it on fire. Are you serious? This is insane. Oh my gosh, wow. Super Witch is going to be closed down for a month. Wow, that is literally unbelievable. I cannot believe that. All right, let me see here. I'm a little bit hungry, so for breakfast, I think I'm going to whip up some eggs, and it is going to be a great morning. I'm gonna have such a relaxing morning. I think I'm gonna eat my breakfast on the front porch there and enjoy the beautiful sounds of nature, and then I gotta wash my car because it is a little bit dusty. I mean, we did a little bit of off-roading here, so I'm definitely gonna have to wash this thing up after breakfast. So let me quickly eat my breakfast, and then we are gonna get started washing my car. I think it is going to be the most relaxing day that we've ever had, no work. So let's head outside, start washing our car, and get ready to enjoy the day. All right, here we go. This thing is absolutely filthy. I mean, it's all dusty. We are going off-roading with this Levante. Uh, who is this honking their horn at me? Oh my goodness, boss, what are you doing here? You visiting me on my day off, I hope? <laughs> Hurry? Hurry for what, boss? No time to wash your car. Are you serious? It is literally my day off, boss. I think you've got to be joking. We need to go to work. Oh my goodness, boss. It is literally my day off. I've been waiting to take a day off for about two years. The shop is packed. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to be headed to the mechanic shop. Apparently, the shop is packed full of customers, so let's get on the road. You know, we barely got to finish even washing our vehicle, so we're going to get on the main highway right now. And we are going to head to the mechanic shop. Apparently there is a lot of people that need to get their vehicles fixed today. And, you know, all of my other co-workers are on vacation besides me. And, of course, my boss knows where I live. So he's going to come to my house and make me go to work. So we are roaring down the road right now. We are going to be headed to the mechanic shop. It is going to be a busy day, I would assume. You know, my boss is literally screaming and shouting for me to hurry up and get to work. He is going so fast. Look at him. He's literally going like a million miles per hour. So we're going to try to keep up with him. Hopefully there are no police on the main road because we do not need a ticket. You know, we better slow down. I think my boss will be the one to get the ticket. He's going like 200 miles per hour. So we're going to be taking a right down here. And we'll be arriving at the Joe's Mechanic Shop in just a moment. We got a clock in. Fortunately, we are working today. You know, I was really hoping that I would be able to have one day off. Seriously, it would have been so nice to relax. But we did have a nice morning breakfast on the front porch. We got to wash our vehicle. So, I mean, that was pretty nice. But we're going to be pulling up to work in just a moment. Who knows how much work we're going to have to get done today. I mean, apparently there is a ton of people at the shop that need repairs. So we're going to head over there right now. We're going to clock in. And we are going to be earning some extra cash since we are not taking a day off work. All right, here we are at the mechanic shop. I think my other co-worker is going to be in today. So hopefully he'll be able to help us out with some of the repairs that needed on some vehicles. So here we are. Oh my gosh, there's like a bunch of people waiting outside already. Are you serious? Unbelievable. All right, here we are. All right, good morning. We got our mascot here. You know, she loves to uh, greet the customers with the crazy outfit. It does definitely bring in some more customers. How you doing today? Seems like it is a busy day here at the car repair shop. So we got a lot of customers that are going to be needing repairs today. We're gonna clock in right now and we are going to get ready for our day at work. Look at all of these cars here, you guys. I seriously cannot believe it. Look at this. It is insane. All right, boss. Well, looks like we got a, a lot of appointments here this morning that we need to take care of. All right, we got our first customer here this morning. We got a lot of customers here. Good morning. Welcome to Joe's Mechanic Shop. How can I help you today? Thank you for being patient with us. You know, we have a lot of customers here today. And how can we help you today, sir? You know, we do have a loaner vehicle ready for you, Grandpa. All right, may I get an oil change and a tune-up? Of course, let me enter that in my computer and please show me to your vehicle. We do have a loaner vehicle that we will be letting you use. It is this white Ford SUV. 
Please pull it up front for him, please. All right. Well, is this it? Wow, this is nice. We'll definitely take care of it, but you know, our only loaner vehicle is a Ford Explorer. So, I mean, that's going to have to be the best vehicle. I know it's a little bit of a downgrade from a Rolls Royce, but we'll definitely take care of it. Okay, sir? All right. Have a good day. We'll call you when it's ready. All right. Start helping the next customers inside, please. All right. We got to pull this thing into the garage and we are going to get it fixed up here pretty soon. Uh, just get that guy the paperwork he needs to sign and he can be on his way with his loaner vehicle. So we're pulling into the garage right now. We got to get the oil change and the tune-up done on this Rolls Royce. Dawn, it definitely needs a lot of work. Just hit 5,000 miles. So let's go check in with the next customers in line and we will get ready to work on the vehicle. Hi there, sir. Thank you for being patient. I do apologize about the wait. How can we help you today? Hi, my Subaru got smashed on the highway. Oh my goodness. Well, let's take a look at it. Um, we will definitely get you on the road here, sir. So don't worry. Do not worry at all. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. All right. Can you get the next loaner vehicle for this customer here, please? Because he is going to be leaving here in just a moment, okay? Wow. I think we're going to have to put a new front bumper on the vehicle. It is literally hanging by a thread. We'll have to get that fixed. The headlight's going to need replacement as well. I know it is a little bit awful, but we will definitely get it repaired. Don't you worry, okay? All right, sir. Uh, our friend is going to get you a loaner vehicle and send you on your way. We'll let you know when your vehicle is ready, all right, sir? Have a great day. All right, we are going to be getting in the vehicle. Uh, sir, do you mind pulling this into the garage here? I am not familiar with driving a manual transmission. Actually, I'll try it out. I think I might be able to do it. All right, we got the next loaner vehicle here for you. It is a Mercedes CLA. Check it out. It is a great vehicle, all right? We'll let you know. Have a good day. All right, we are going to head inside and we are going to get this thing fixed up. You know, apparently they need a lot of work. This thing needs new bumpers, new headlights. He literally hit a deer with this thing, so it's got a lot of work ahead of it. Let's quickly change the oil on this Rolls Royce. Give it a quick tune-up with new spark plugs and everything, and it will be all set here. So we got to drain the oil. This thing's got about 10, 10 quarts of oil because it is a V12 motor. And we got to change all the spark plugs. Literally, there are so many for this tune-up. And then we will let the customer know that your vehicle is almost done. So we're going to send him a message. I believe Grandpa, Grandpa, your Rolls Royce is about done. You may return to the shop and pick it up. All right, we're getting this vehicle pulled outside right now. It is all done and it is ready for pickup. So we are parking this thing right out front here for the customer. So here we go. All right, let's head back inside the shop and see what else we need to accomplish today. Oh my goodness. Uh, we need other cashiers here at the main desk, please. Other cashiers, chill. And our friend over here, we need other cashiers here, please. Hi there, ma'am. How can I help you today? How can I help you? Thank you for being patient with us today. Hi, I need some body work done on my car. All right, please show us to your vehicle and we will get it fixed up for you. All right. Oh my gosh, you're making me feel short over here. You are very tall. All right. Oh my goodness. This thing definitely needs some body work, ma'am. Um, we can definitely repair the rust, but it is going to be a little bit expensive. About $3,000 to fix it. So what are you thinking about it? All right, have a good day, sir. Thank you very much. All right, ma'am, we will take care of this. Don't you worry. Um, one of our assistants will get you in a loaner vehicle as soon as possible, okay? All right, we've got to get this thing into the shop, and we are going to get it fixed up and repaired. There is a ton of rust that we need to get fixed on this vehicle. It literally has so much. All right, we got the new bumper and the new headlights. We just got to quickly install those in this vehicle. And it should be ready to go in just a few more hours. All right. Next in line, you may uh, go to Chill's line over here. Next in line, please head over here to Mr. Chill's line. We got a lot of customers here today. All right, ma'am. Don't worry. Your car will be done in just a few hours, okay? All right. Hi there, sir. How can I help you today? Thank you for being patient. We have a lot of customers. Hi. My spark plugs are broken. My engine light went off. Yes, we will fix it for you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chill, can you help this guy with the Mercedes CLA? His tires are flattened on it. All right. Let's go see here. He needs a lot of repairs to his BMW. Don't worry, sir. We'll get this thing taken care of. 
and it will be in perfect, perfect shape. Don't you worry, okay? All right, let's get this thing in the garage, and we are going to get this thing fixed up. It's got a lot of service lights on it, and it is not looking too good at all. All right, let's get working on this body. I mean, seriously, it is in horrific shape. Look at this front bumper. It's literally smashed in, trim hanging everywhere. I mean, this thing, I don't know if we're going to be able to fix this. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, can you come here for a second? Yeah, I don't know if you want to continue with this because the frame of this vehicle is completely rusted through and it could completely split in half. So I'm not sure if it is safe to even drive this vehicle. I think you should just take it to, you know, a junkyard or trade in something like that. I mean, it's really not worth fixing it, ma'am. I do apologize, but I don't believe we'll be able to fix it. Oh, well, don't worry about it. It was a cheap car anyways. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. If you ever get another vehicle, feel free to stop by again, okay? No charge today, okay? Have a great day. Thank you very much. All right, we got a, a lot of vehicles here. Let's check our phone, and we are going to see if we have any other messages today. Hi, sir. How can I help you today? Thank you for being patient with us. You know, we have a lot of customers here today. Yes, we do have an Aston Martin loaner vehicle right this way, sir. It is right here. Please, 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 please be super careful. This is one of our very, very expensive loaner vehicles here, so please be careful with it. Drive slow, okay? All right, that thing sounds amazing. It really does. It really does. All right, sir, your Subaru is all done. I just gotta pull it outside of the shop, and we will get it taken care of. Thank goodness we got these parts in stock, so we're able to fix this car super quick. Really, we got lucky here. All right, we're going to back this thing out of here, and we are gonna get it to the customer, and they are just so happy. All right, we need to figure out how we can get this thing. Excuse me, sir, pardon me, please. I know, it literally looks like a brand new vehicle. We did an amazing job. I mean, this garage is very tight, so we gotta go out this door here, and we are gonna park it right out front. All right, here we are. Traffic jam here. All right, sir, here is your vehicle. Uh, just please pay the invoice with our secretary here. You know, it is a, going to be about $3,000, okay? All right, thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. All right, let's check our phone here for any updated message. I gotta check in with the guy that has our loaner vehicle because he's going to have to return it here very soon. Uh, sir, you need to return the loaner car, please. The loaner car. You know, we need the vehicle returned back because we are gonna be closing down for the day here soon. So please get back to us here very soon. Uh, please call us at 1-800-WANNY. Hi there, sir. How can I help you today? Thank you for being patient with us. Hello, I need a simple oil change. All right, perfect. Please show me your vehicle and we will get you taken care of. Uh, Mr. Chill, that guy that's driving the Aston Martin hasn't responded to me. I said you need to return the service loaner vehicle. So can you please give him a call on the phone and see what's going on with that, okay? I am not kidding. Probably flee the country with that thing. All right, sir. Where's the vehicle, please? All right, here. Oh my goodness. What in the world? You actually want to pay for this thing to be fixed? This is a, this thing needs a new windshield as well. Sir, we can replace the windshield on this for an extra 200 bucks if you'd like. I mean, you definitely should be getting one, okay? All right, we'll pull into the garage and we'll let you know when it's complete, okay? All right, we are going to get this thing on the service bay right now. I mean, this thing needs a whole new windshield. Missing hubcaps. I don't even know if it's worth fixing at all. But the customer wants an oil change, so that's what we'll do. We also need a new windshield, so we'll get that taken care of as well. Uh, Mr. Chill, did you hear back from that customer? Because he is not responding to my text message. Let me text him. I crashed the loader car in the river by the Synax. Are you serious? Uh, get the tow truck right now. Get the tow truck. I will get in my car. We gotta head over there right now. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I cannot believe this. I really cannot believe this, you guys. I'm getting in my car right now. Uh, Mr. Chill is going to be getting in the tow truck. Our beautiful, beautiful loaner vehicle was just crashed. This guy is going to be paying a hefty, hefty fine for damaging our vehicle. Luckily, we got good insurance to take care of it, but this man's still gonna have to pay for all the damages towards the vehicle. All right, we're getting on the road right now. We are gonna head quickly to the Syntex, hopefully, the Aston Martin is not too bad. Maybe this guy wasn't exaggerating. He said he literally crashed the loaner in the river. Oh gosh, the engine might be waterlogged. 
something like that it is just not going to be good at all so we are rolling down the road as fast as we can you guys i cannot believe this seriously i am so upset whoa that was my favorite vehicle i literally could not even drive because of how upset i am and now i literally got myself a flat tire here because of this crazy man so we're gonna get over there gotta fix my tire and then we're gonna try to get this car out of the lake here you know we got the tow truck on its way right now and they should be taking it out of the water here pretty soon we are rolling over as fast as we can we literally have a flattened tire the whole team is heading out of here right now to make sure that we can get this thing fixed and ready to go so you know our vehicle might be completely totaled it's just going to be a disaster everybody so we're going to be pulling up in just a moment right now oh gosh i don't even know if i want to look i think i honestly might cry honestly might cry so we're pulling up right now here we go, everybody. Here we go. Uh-oh. I believe this is the river up here. I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. Oh, he's jumping up and down over here. Uh-oh. All right, we're parking here. What's going on, sir? I think you're joking. Are you pranking us? Please tell me you're pranking us. Oh, my word. Are you serious? How in the world did you do this? Oh, my gosh. We need a tow truck here immediately. We need a tow truck. This is just unbelievable. We need a tow truck. Uh, we need the tow truck in the river right now, please. This is just not good. I just texted my boss. How in the world did you do this? Seriously. Oh my word. Are you kidding me right now? How in the world did this guy also drive off the road? Are you serious? Guys, our Aston Martin is completely destroyed right now. Oh my goodness. The tow truck is pulling up right now. They are going to be handling this situation Hopefully we could get both of these vehicles out of the river. This is just unbelievable. I seriously have never seen something like this in my entire life. You know, I would understand if it was winter time, but it is literally summer. And I think this guy was just driving like a maniac with our Aston Martin. So we are going to be getting this vehicle out of the river right now. We got the tow bed here. We got to get these vehicles out of here as fast as we can before the engines are completely, completely destroyed. So we got the whole team here right now. Hopefully we're able to get it out here. You know, luckily Mr. Chill is a great tow truck driver and he is able to fix this very quickly. I mean, it is just unbelievable how people take care of rental vehicles. Just because they didn't buy it, you know, doesn't mean that you don't have to take care of it. All right, here we go. Finally, 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 we are getting these vehicles out of the water. Mr. Chill, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get these vehicles out. They are literally like stuck. Seriously, they are completely stuck. What do you think? Do you think you'll be able to get them out? I think we might have to call like a helicopter or something. All right, well, he says he can get him out. So I'm gonna let him to it. Good luck, boss. Um, I gotta head back to the shop and handle all the rest of the cases. So it has been a crazy, crazy day. Also need to fix my tire on my vehicle because I literally got a flat tire from going so fast. So I'm gonna head back to the shop right now. It has been a crazy, crazy day. You know, my boss is taking care of all the vehicles that were crashed into the river. I already got the Aston Martin, thank goodness. You know, we'll have to fix it up at our shop. Hopefully it won't be too expensive and insurance will cover all the repairs. So, I mean, what a crazy, crazy day. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.